So we're going to look at structuring our thesis using section headings, inserting table of contents, and looking at correct pagination. So in Microsoft Word, we can arrange the text uh, according to styles. Now this is a very underused uh, function in Microsoft Word, but it's very powerful. So various aspects of the text are assigned to different styles. So the bulk of the text is assigned to normal style, and we can format this by choosing normal and modify. And here now we can say, okay, I want line and a half spacing. I want a particular font here, Arial. Size 11 is the standard. Line and a half spacing, and I want the text to be justified. And I can press OK. So now we see all of the text that's assigned to the normal style changes to Arial, font size 11, line and a half spacing justified. And this means now we have a consistent theme throughout the document. OK, so let's look at headings. So for level 1 heading, I click on the Styles and Formatting button, choose Heading 1, and now I can modify this to be what I want it to be. So usually we have a heading, level 1, it's at least 1, if not 2 size, sizes bigger than the font. We've got line and a half, we've got justified already, so that's OK. And now we see that automatically updates. We can do the same for subsection headings, by choosing Heading Style 2 and modifying this. This is usually the same size as the font, uh, sorry, w w one size bigger, uh, with all of the letters, the first letters of the words capitalized. And finally, a sub subsection heading that just has the first word, the first letter, the first word capitalized. I so choose heading three here, modify and make it bold, and the same size as the normal text. Okay and I can number these appropriately. So the great thing about styles is that it ensures a consistent theme throughout the document. So in other words, whatever you click to be heading 1, that will always be uh, at that format. Okay, another great thing about inserting headings is that we can now automatically insert a table of contents. So if I go to the Insert menu and choose Field, Scroll down here and choose TOC for Table of Contents. I can click on the Table of Contents button now and format it. Now, to be honest, the default is fine. But just to go through it, it says Show Page Numbers. We want that. Right Align Them. We want that. In the Options tab, we can decide what number of headings we want. So I could add in an extra level here or take away. I could change more by clicking on Modify, but the default is fine. So now we see here this auto text has been entered that gives us the page numbers for these different headings. Let's just change something here. If I put in a page break to move this onto the next page. And now I want to update my table of contents, so I right click, update field, and choose update entire table. And press OK. Now we see that's number two. So it's a very quick and easy way of inserting table of contents. OK. So the next thing now is to uh, insert the page numbers. Now, a thesis is slightly complicated because the first part of the thesis, the acknowledgements, table of contents, and so on, are numbered using Roman numerals, and the second part are numbered using ordinary numbers. So to separate the two, we insert a section break. So that's insert break and section break. Now I want to insert page numbers, so I go to insert page numbers, and the default should be center at the bottom of the page. Now, because this is the start of the thesis, I choose Roman numerals and press OK. So we see here we've got the Roman numeral 1. But now for the rest of the thesis, this should be ordinary numbers, but it has to start from number 1. So you see here it says same as previous. So when I click on this, I can untick the box link to previous on the header and footer menu. Link to previous, tick that off. And now we see if I uh, format the page numbers and set that to be number 1, the um, number changes to number one. So now in the table of contents page, the first part of the thesis, I've got Roman numerals, and in the second part of the thesis, I've got ordinary numbers. So this is a very powerful way of setting up your thesis so it can be in one document. Okay, so let's put in another section break here. And now I'm going to put in the chapter title. So I'll just call this chapter one. And I want to give this a style. So I'm going to call it, um, make, make a new style, so just go to More, 
and I'll call this, uh, let's say, chapter title or something. So it's just, sorry, it's just hidden there beneath the call out. Uh, and I'm going to base it on heading styles. And that what this means is it'll appear in the table of contents at the same level that heading 1 appears. I'll make it a nice big font, so Arial size 20 bold, and press OK. So now if I click on that text and apply the um, title chapter style, I'll just do one more thing here. Actually, I'll modify that again and make it centered. So modify center. And again, this just ensures a uniform style throughout the document for all of our chapter titles. So the last thing now is to update my table of contents. So I'm just going to put in a table of contents header. Give that heading one style. So it itself appears in the table of contents. And then I'll right click, update field, and update entire table. And now if I turn off the formatting, you see I've got table of contents, chapter one, and the rest of the, doc the document. So there's some tips on how to uh, structure your thesis.